0024SM. So this is a complaint alleging on or about November 30th of 2023 at 513 Woodrow Avenue, City of Lansing, Ingham County, Michigan. Count one alleges that you did make an assault or an assault and battery upon Christine Cambrick, a resident or former resident of your household, or an individual with whom you had a dating relationship. That is contrary to law, sir. It is also a misdemeanor and the maximum penalty on that is up to 93 days and or a $500 fine. Do you understand that charge and maximum penalty, sir? Yes. All right, thank you. And we'll get you an attorney on that as well. We will enter a not guilty plea for you, Mr. Whaley. The pretrial conference for this uh, case is set for Tuesday, May 14th at 10.30 a.m also with Judge Ward. So you should have that notice as well. Do you have that? Yes. All right, very good. All right, then I have no other questions for your client, Mr. Sartz, if you would address Bond, please. Thank you, Magistrate. Uh, respectfully, I would ask for a, a reasonable uh, cash or surety bond uh, for the open murder charges on behalf of Mr. Whaley. To his credit, he is not a flight risk. He has deep roots in the community. You know, he surrendered of his, of his own accord. He turned himself in. He has friends and family in the community, notably his parents. His parents live in Grand Ledge. Uh, prior uh, to the allegations here and, and prior to his incarceration, uh, on these allegations. And the key thing, of course, to note here is the, these are just allegations at this stage. He's presumed innocent. Uh, he has his own uh, construction business. He's self-employed. Uh, I would expect uh, magistrate based on these charges that this is going to be a very long potential uh, legal proceeding. It could drag out for years if Mr. Whaley is unable uh, to post his bond, he could be stuck waiting on a possible trial date uh, for a very lengthy time period. And I note that as a consideration in terms of the real importance that Mr. Whaley be afforded a reasonable cash assurity bond at this time. Uh, Defense counsel anticipates a voluminous uh, discovery, a lot of discovery that will have to be sifted through. And Again, Mr. Whaley is uh, presumed innocent. These are just allegations at this stage. I would further note that based on my knowledge, uh, he would only have a very limited uh, criminal history. I understand that there's some type of uh, allegation that there's some type of conviction possibly from Florida or something else along those lines. Certainly defense counsel does not have access to his uh, lien information, but from what I understand, his previous criminal history is extremely limited. Uh, Mr. Whaley, if given the opportunity, will comply with all the court's orders. Uh, he will make sure the reports to pretrial services. It's my understanding as well that he has some medical concerns. Perhaps it would be uh, better for him if he's in a position where he can pursue his own medical treatment uh, for those concerns. I won't get into the specifics due to HIPAA and, and concerns along those lines, but I will note that Mr. Whaley uh, does have some medical issues he'd like to get treatment for outside of jail. So uh, taken into consideration, granted uh, the charges here are quite serious, but still Mr. Whaley uh, should be afforded a reasonable cash assurity bond and I request that on his behalf. Thank you. All right, absolutely. Thank you, Mr. Sartz. So Mr. Whaley, the court does absolutely look at those two factors. Are you a flight risk? Are you a danger to the public? The court looks at your criminal history, looks at your ties and community, your employment status, uh, looks at the allegations and absolutely as Mr. Sartre stated, and I agree that these are absolutely allegations and you have the presumption of innocence. The court uh, looks at those allegations such that that is what they are. You also have uh, the domestic violence charge uh, as well that uh, indicates or alleges uh, assaultive behavior towards Ms. Cambrick and a uh, 
a loss of life in the in the other in the other file. Um, at this point, sir, I, I do have to share with you that I am allowed by court rule MCR 6.106B1 to deny bond on uh, murder or treason charges. Uh, and with that, I am going to follow that court rule. I think what really needs to be done is perhaps some more investigation between the defense and some cooperation, not by the defense, by the uh, prosecution and, and some collaboration with the defense to determine what would be a, an appropriate a bond if that were to entail a release on a cash surety. But based on the information that I have here, sir, I cannot um, in all good conscience uh, grant you uh, anything less than denying the bond. These are very serious charges, again, that um, have uh, resulted in the loss of two lives. So at this point, uh, your bond is denied, and certainly I would recommend to defense counsel uh, to uh, do a motion before Judge Ward if they feel that that is appropriate to change the bond. So do you understand then, sir, that you're not going to be released on that uh, homicide charge, sir? I do. All right. And in regards to the domestic violence charge, there's a lot of factors that need to be uh, taken into account there with the uh, with the reality that the victim is deceased. So I will set a $3,000 PR bond, not a PR bond, a 3,010% bond. Conditions of your release, if ultimately you are released, no alcohol or drugs, no out-of-state travel, no firearms, ammunition, or dangerous weapons, and no assaultive behavior uh, towards any individual. Um, I can't, certainly can't uh, enter a no contact. That would be um, the meaning, certainly. So uh, just you have a 3,010% bond on that. So you can't leave the state and you can't violate any of those other conditions. You understand that, Mr. Whaley? Understand that that thing, that charge was written up out of thin air by the prosecution. There's, there was no. There's well, no don't don't say. Please, please don't don't say anything. That is something. Uh, if you're going to talk about a case, then you need to talk about that with your attorney no, yeah, in I, a I private setting. Right. Now, I understand. Not, not yeah, right. not why you're being recorded. Okay, so all right. Anything else for the record, Mr. Sartz? Nothing further, Magistrate. Thank you. All right, then you're all set, Mr. Whaley. That concludes your arraignment. Thank you. I need about four or five minutes to go to uh, everyone else in, ma'am. Okay, thank you.